Good morning. I'm Francis Coppola, and I'm speaking to you from uh, San Francisco uh, in, uh, in the Bohemian community of North Beach. And I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about my connection to Dracula. Of course, there were many film versions of Dracula, uh, more or less based on the book, because the book was such a, uh, uh, a big success for Bram Stoker. Um, of course, the Dracula we all think of first is the Todd Browning Dracula starring uh, Bela Lugosi, who was a Hungarian actor. There was the great film Nosferatu, which was made by Marnau, and that was based on the novel, although they never got the rights, and so there was a bit of a legal hassle, and uh, ultimately uh, names were changed. But Nosferatu, which I think arguably is the greatest vampire picture, was based on Bram Stoker's Dracula. I must say that my favorite uh, actor playing Dracula, uh, as was my brother's, was John Carradine, who took part in many, many sequels, uh, Frankenstein meets Dracula, Dracula meets the Wolfman. I mean, all of the, the gothic characters were put in a series of films that came, that were very scary films. We would go sometimes with my twin uncles, Uncle Eddie and Clarence, who were wonderful uncles, and very often were more frightened at uh, these horror films than we were. Uh, later on, when I, uh, uh, I became interested in theater uh, uh, and began to direct plays, I got a job as a counselor at a summer camp uh, in, in New York. And uh, as part of my duties, I had a bunk with about eight little boys, eight, nine years old. And one of the things I did with them is that at night, as they would fall asleep, I would read to them the entire Dracula from the Bram Stoker novel, from the beginning to the end. And consequently, I knew something about Dracula when later on, uh, from the original book, when later on the opportunity came to direct it. And I knew the fact that uh, Bram Stoker, by taking this uh, supposedly fierce uh, king known as Vlad the Impaler, who was famous for impaling Turks on stakes, that he had, in a way, misappropriated this character and combined him with a, a popular thing going on in England, which was the, the vampire tale, and uh, synthesized these two things and made this r real Romanian uh, king, Vlad Cepish, uh, into a vampire, which, of course, there's no basis for in the history. So when I was uh, approached to do it, I think what fascinated me was the idea that I could make the classic Dracula based on the book much more scrupulously, which I tried to do, as well as make it with a young cast of what were then emerging stars in America, and then also give it a little aspect of the historical background of, uh, of Vlad Tepish, uh, which I knew about. Uh, from reading history and, 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 and come up with a version of Dracula that was kind of my own take on, on this great story. Uh, it's always been my feeling when I make a movie that when it comes uh, uh, very uh, profoundly from an author's work, as this does, I always like it to be the author's work uh, above the title. So you, those of you who know my work in the past, say, from The Godfather, it says Mario Puzo's The Godfather. And so in this case, I wanted it to say uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. So join with me on this adventure. I will tell you some of my thoughts concerning uh, why I made it in the way I did uh, and uh, hopefully uh, share those experiences with you.